today we are going to do the 11th lesson of your health book that is the latest overcome nutritious food for a healthy life okay now you all know what's the benefits of getting a nutritious food energy is required for the existence of all living beings their development and protection from diseases is provided by food for a healthy life it is important to prepare meals with high nutritional value and also to ensure that food does not cause any danger or harm to the body now we all know what are the benefits of getting nutritious food to your body because then only you can be able to get the protection from the diseases especially nowadays also we are talking about the covid-19 pandemic season so we are facing that as well so especially we have to maintain our immunity system to face those challenges so likewise we have to always we have to consider about high nutritional food and their nutritional benefits as well over the past several years you would have learned many facts regarding the nutrients in food nutritional problems and how to minimize these problems i think you all were not in that time because some people they were in very past in sri lanka also especially nowadays we can see those people in ethiopia somalia uganda so they are suffering in malnutrition problems in past sri lanka also somehow some people they face those problems so because why now we all know what are the benefits of getting nutritional foods and uh, nutrition foods nutritional problems also in this lesson you will learn about food safety from this lesson you will be able to learn about food safety food spoilage adulteration of food food poisoning and how to protect the nutritional value of food and select food items suitable for consumption all those things you can be able to learn from this lesson now we are going to discuss each and everything okay food safety is a scientific di discipline food safety is a scientific discipline describing handling preparation and storage of food in ways that prevent contamination and food born illness now you all know food safety it is a scientific discipline describing handling preparation and storage of food in ways that prevent contamination and food born illness okay now there are factors that affect food safety these are the facts they affect food safety so we can see two things those are biological factors and the chemical factors under if i discussing about the biological factors microorganism present in food are harmful to the body belong to this category bacteria fungi okay so biological factors means so we have to preserve the food for a long time okay so if we uh, if we don't have these if you don't have condition to preserve food for a long time so because why because microorganism present in food that are harmful to the body so there are there can be bacteria fungal and each and everything on food so those things are belong to this mainly those things are belong to this bacteria and fungal categories okay so then only it will make spoil easily microorganism spoil food and any toxins which are usually harmful to man but something microorganism also microorganism spoil food and any toxins but uh, which are usually harmful to man somehow it's harmful to man as well so chemical factors these include residual chemical substances added to food at various stages prior to harvesting pesticides after harvesting chemical substances added to ripen food and food preservation now putala you all know prior to harvesting main pesticide they are adding chemicals to keep it for a long time to, to preserve food after harvesting as well chemical substances added to ripen food especially you all know uh, for bananas also nowadays we can see they are adding uh, chemicals to ripen the food especially for the food especially for the fruits and all okay so if vegetables and fruits are not washed well prior to consumption residual agrochemicals may enter to the body if you are not properly wash those items before you are getting into your body so those chemicals and those uh, harmful things enter to your body 
long term disposition of such substances may give rise to diseases like cancers and kidney diseases have you heard these things especially those who are living in rajarata and radhapura so those farmers also facing these kidney diseases and all because they are using many chemicals they are using those chemicals to their uh, improve their harvest so likewise we have to always wash those items before we are in taking enter into our body so otherwise we have to in future we have to face the cancers and kidney diseases the minister of agriculture recommends that the harvest should not be gathered until 2 to 3 weeks have passed since the last use of agrochemicals so ministry of agriculture they recommend they recommend that the harvest should not be gathered until 2 or 3 weeks have passed since the last use of agrochemicals that is compulsory but nowadays we can't see such things physical factors these uh, include substances such as stones and sand which can contaminate food during transport storage and preparation numerous diseases can occur due to one or more factors related to food safety so as the example if we take spoiled food can give rise to vomiting and diarrhea so physical factors as well okay so these include substances such as stones and sand which can contaminate food during transport have you seen uh, when we are using cabbage or some other specially leeks uh, so we can see stones and sand uh, so and there's a problem with the storage and preparation numerous diseases can occur due to one or more factors related to food safety there are many more things we have to consider spoiled food can give rise to vomiting and diarrhea if we take spoiled food so it will rise vomiting and diarrhea and the other one is instance where action should be taken to ensure food safety okay manufactured food so now when we are growing the food when we are growing food as well as when we are manufacturing food also we have to consider about these things okay within the farm land adding pesticide according to recommended standards use of natural pest control methods example magusa juice now in past people our past people so especially past farmers they used they always considered about the natural chemicals those are natural techniques to avoid insects and reptiles and so then they got good harvest and people also they had a good life past people but nowadays as i told you already many people they are suffering with kidney diseases and many more diseases because why farmers they used to take many farmers they used to take big harvest they are not considering about their uh, themselves and especially they are not considering about the consumer self that mean ourselves so they are using many more chemicals to their harvest especially that's what here they mention about adding pesticides according to recommended standards nowadays there are many chemicals there are they are in various standards but always farmers they should think about the recommended standards of them and uh, but those people our past people they usually used magusa juice now what's the magusa juice kohomba kohomba tel kohomba at so kohomba juice mean Uh, they are getting some magusa is actually bitter one so especially not for us not only for us that one that is uh, uh, not good for insects so as well so they will surely they will go away so likewise they used okay uh, instead of using chemicals so we can use these types of magusa juice use of organic fertilizer ensuring cleanliness of farming equipment and farmland so use use of organic fertilizer and the other one is ensuring cleanliness of farming equipment and farmland nowadays i have noticed these things some especially some uh, now these days many people they used to grow plants and all in their home garden as well but somehow they used to add those chemicals as well so that is not good so always if you are growing something in your home garden so you have to use those natural things to those things within the factory 
ensuring cleanliness of raw ingredients, ensuring cleanliness of manufacturing environment, ensuring cleanliness of the equipment used in the manufacturing process and the interior of the factory, maintaining personal hygiene of staff members. Now you can see here in this picture, ensuring food safety within farmland. This is what can you say about this picture, Putala? This is really neat and well maintained area, right? So within the factory, you have to, if you have a factory also in future, if you are going to maintain a factory, so you have to ensure the cleanliness of raw ingredients, okay? And ensuring cleanliness of the manufacturing environment and ensuring the cleanliness of equipment used in manufacturing process and interior of the factory. Maintaining personal hygiene, especially we have to think about the personal hygiene of the staff members. The use of recommended artificial flavors and dyes in recommended quantities during manufactures. So the use of recommended artificial flavors. Now, now most things, that means most of the products we can see these things when you are uh, when you are considering about the ingredients especially when you are buying a biscuit or else if you are buying any other thing also now we can see nowadays we can see there are many artificial flavors and natural flavors so always you have to have the good knowledge about what are the flavors and dyes okay so they have to include those things in recommended let me recommended quantities during manufacture okay there is a company there is a hmm, there is a company ensuring food safety within factories now they are ensuring food safety within factories transport of food use of wooden boxes and plastic basket to prevent bruises and scratches now you can see in this picture they are somehow we can guess they are using plastic or else wooden boxes to uh, transport the food especially when we are transporting vegetables and especially eggs and also tomatoes so uh, to avoid in to uh, that means to prevent bruises and scratches we have to maintain them into plastic containers or else wooden containers and avoid stacking boxes one on top of the other beyond the available space and when we are transport those items in a plastic or else wooden containers also we have to keep the gap beyond them uh, use appropriate temperature settings to suit the food items especially example milk products should be transported maintaining the ideal temperature if not it will get spoiled easily use uh, cover especially chicken especially fresh items and all especially uh, ice creams and all so those things we have to maintain that those things we have to keep in a proper ideal temperature use covers to prevent contamination if you pack all together so it will mix all together so you you have to covers and it will get spoiled easily so always use covers to prevent contamination use natural protective measures as much as possible instead of artificial chemicals to prevent food spoilage during transport and the other one is use natural protective measures as much as possible instead of artificial chemicals always we should go for a natural chemicals to prevent food spoilage during transport we have to do another one is storage of food arrange items on the shelf according to their date of expiry and place the items with early dates of expiration in front now when we are storing food also we have to consider about these things as well arrange items on shelf according to their date of expiry and the placed items with early dates of expiration in front so you always when we are packing when you are packing the food also when we are manufacturing the food also we have to consider about these parts because always we have to go for a expiration date in front use measures to prevent damage by insects and other animals such as rats cockroaches weevils and termites so usually we have to keep those foods away from these animals especially rats cockroaches weevils termites and there are many more animals like uh, ants 
and especially flies also maintain the appropriate temperature within the stores according to the relevant food items so maintain the appropriate temperature also we have to consider about this as i told you already especially the milk products uh, that means related to milk products as well curd yogurts and uh, ice cream as well use especially flesh items correct use of refrigerators and deep freezers means when you are storing food also you have to consider about these things as well because when you are storing ice cream or then other things are likewise flesh items also you always you have to store in deep freezers and the other one is when you are storing uh, yogurt and curd products also you have to store in a normal fridge so likewise always you have to have a good understanding about those things food items should be stored in appropriate locations in the fridge that's what i told already food that requires refrigeration or deep freezing should be kept at the required temperature throughout 24 hours the refrigerator should not be switched off during the night okay now if you are uh, that mean if you are storing flesh items also so you always you have to keep the refrigerator switch on mode because otherwise it will get spoiled easily as i told you already food and beverages should not be stored together with substances such as toxic materials medication aromatics etc because why so there should be a gap with those items okay because toxic materials medication aromatics also there should be another shelf to store meat fish and ice cream should not be stored together because why so now you can see here there's a big differences with flesh items especially meat fish and the ice cream as well because usually when we are when we are using those meat and fish items we have to we should cook those items and we should eat them but ice cream is already prepared so we don't want to cook or else we don't want to do any other things for ice cream so if you store those things all together so uh, especially on meat and fish so we can see a microorganism system uh, can be active actively on the on those items so those items always we should store those things in a separated shelf always we have to store those things in separated shelves okay and the other one is here now you can see here they have categorized those items putala meat and fish which require deep freezing we have to do this that is compulsory meat and fish require for deep freezing otherwise it will get spoiled easily okay because why microorganism okay and the second one is butter margarine vegetables bottles now here you can see number two butter and margarine not no need to do for deep freezing that is not required for deep not not required for deep freezing and the vegetables number three now you can see here there's another shell okay so that means uh, they don't want that much cooling temperature that means average temperature they required bottles now you can see here so all these we can categorize them easily then we can get a clear idea about what should be there or what should not to be there okay and uh, now the manner in which food should be in a fridge at home preparation of food now you are preparing the food also you have to consider about these parts as well avoid using food which has been damaged or consumed by animals now in some houses i have noticed this because some houses they have rats in their home especially is some foods especially they can't they even they can't manage those foods because why especially rats they used to damage their foods as well so those things we have to get rid of those items avoid using food which has been damaged or consumed by animals avoid using spoiled or mold food especially you have to get rid of those things avoid using spoiled or mold food keep pets away from the area in which food is prepared 
so usually some houses they have many pets cats dogs some people they use to share their food with those pets so but anyway you have to keep pets away from the area in which food is prepared wash hands well before preparing food another one is you have to wash your hands thoroughly with a soap or else hand wash before you are preparing food clean green leafy vegetables well soak in salt water for some time and then use because why when the farmers also when they are growing those items also they can be they might so they may can add chemicals for those items so you have to wash them with the salty water then only we can get in them good in a good mood scrub and wash the outer skin of fruits well and also you have to consider about this you have to scrub and wash the outer skin of fruits well in past people they don't want to do this because they are always do getting those items from their natural environment but nowadays we all have to eat chemical chemical items especially when you are buying ap apples or else when you are buying oranges also so any uh, any that mean most of the fruits also they are in the chemical mood because why especially the uh, that mean uh, farmers and other people they used to add vaccines also to keep them for a long time you have to always scrub and wash the outer skin of fruits well otherwise that is not good for our body as i told you already can you all remember if there are toxins and all if you are not wash it properly and uh, if you enter in those things into your body also you in future you will get cancers and kidney diseases wash eggs before breaking them as the shell may carry bacteria salmonella have you heard this one salmonella bacteria on eggs also we can see that mean uh, wash eggs before breaking the mass if you can see here always you have to keep your eye on eggs because if it is a broken egg so you have to avoid that you have to throw it because there can be salmonella bacteria on eggs and the other one is cut fruits and vegetables just before cooking to prevent browning and loss of vitamins always you have to cut fruits and vegetables before cooking okay avoid repeated reuse of oil for frying food okay nowadays especially now if you are eating fried rice uh, that means short is also especially those who are working in restaurants they have this experience because most of the people they are using reused oil okay so they are not trying those things so always you have to cook always you have to cook those things especially you when you are frying also you have to always take good oil that mean not to use reuse oil for frying use clean bowls and correct methods of cooking always you have to clean bowls before you uh, before you take it for a cooking and you have to use for correct methods of cooking uh, as the example keep the lid open when boiling manioc manioc especially you have to consider about this because when you are cooking manioc also you have to keep the lid open you should not cover the lid when you are boiling manioc and the other one is consumption of food keep food covered until consumption now after cooking now you have to consider about these parts as well keep food covered until consumption avoid use of metal using clay or glass bowls and wooden or plastic spoons to serve food containing vinegar as vinegar which contains acid will react with metal and form harmful substances in television also i have noticed this so nowadays especially somehow they can argue with like this here they are stainless steel so any no any chemical reactions with these things and they can argue this and that but the actual thing is you should avoid of metal using bowls let me avoid use of metal that is uh, not good for the body avoid use of metal so instead you can use clay or glass bowls and wooden or plastic spoons to serve food containing vinegar 
as vinegar as which contains acid so because why it will react with metal and form harmful substances cancer also can be affected in future avoid consumption of food such as potatoes which have become green in color and many of which has been exposed to air this is must because avoid consumption of food such as potatoes which have become green in color do you should get rid of those things and many of which has been exposed air you should throw them you can't use those items avoid use of bruised or swollen tin or packed food have you noticed this i have i have this experience with this because uh, in the salmon tin also Uh, packed salmon pa- packed fish that means packed salmon you know also some uh, bruised or swollen tin okay because why inside we can't guess inside it may be a chemical reaction acid reaction so that is not good for our body okay so always we should throw them and uh, when we are making the food also we have to consider about these things okay putala Hope you got good knowledge about this lesson and next day we'll meet of food spoilage.